Hello guys, this is Vaish. So the economic survey and its importance, many people have been asking like whether we should study this, we should read this, uh, whether it's needed for prelims, mains. So a detailed video was already done uh, last year. So again, this is uh, just to show you that video link and also to take some important points from this year's economic survey and tell you. Okay, so this one, uh, if you see, it was a paper one uh, last year, till last year, and this time they have put it in tablet and they're showing digital format. So that is one big change. And uh, the test series also includes economic survey every year, whichever batch you are enrolled to, 2020, 21, 22. So last year's uh, test and this year's test together will be uh, given uh, together, whoever enrolls. So this uh, July 15 is the date we are planning to give that to all the enrolled students. And if you want a economic survey alone, that also you can enroll. By the end of this video, I'll tell you. So let's uh, see. This is the thumbnail of the last year's video. Okay, you can simply search uh, YCIA's economic survey video. This will come. Okay, in this, uh, I think one hour I took and I detailedly explained the PDF walkthrough, the economic survey, the budget documents, the budget highlights, where you will get all the PDFs, everything. Okay, detailed things are covered here and this will be sufficient for you. When you do this itself, you will understand like what is the value of reading an economic survey. Okay, and you can forward it to all UPSC aspirants. Uh, this much uh, detailed coverage nobody would have done till now. Okay, now questions whether it comes. So last year, 2020, uh, prelims itself two questions came okay which could have been answered through economic survey also or if you are doing current affairs or basic polity and economy then also you can do so along with the budget the finance minister also places other documents before the parliament which include the macroeconomic framework statement this fr said document is presented because this is mandated by what okay meaning along with budget why are you placing this document okay whether is it because long standing parliamentary con convention or article 112 and 110 uh, clause 1 tells it or 113 tells it or there are provisions in the physical responsibility and budget management act 2003 so why is that this document is uh, presented along with the budget okay this is the one uh, first question then another question which came is data oriented with reference to the international trade of india at present which of the following statement is are correct india's merchandise export are less than its merchandise import meaning what we have a merchandise trade deficit Okay, we are exporting less and we are importing more. So we have a deficit when it comes to merchandise. Then here, India's import of iron, steel, chemical, fertilizer, machinery have decreased in the recent years. Then India's export of services are more than its import of service. Meaning here we have surplus. Service ex uh, export is, service uh, trade is surplus and merchandise is deficit and this have decreased. And India suffers from an overall trade deficit overall trade deficit okay so this is the thing they ask it's this is very basic actually and very easy to solve also but in the economic survey with the pie charts and graph they have explained the same thing so i'll tell you the solution also this were last year uh, questions which we claimed also when we did the vice versus upsc uh, videos so if you see this one in april current affair and in both economic survey also it will be there april current affair we had made a question which is exactly the same frbm act Okay, answer is here, D, FRBM. Okay, FRBM Act made it mandatory for the government to place which of the following along with the union budget. This exactly is what they picked and asked. They asked just the one thing, the macroeconomic framework statement. Instead of this, if they had asked this uh, medium term physical policy or the physical policy strategy, anything then you could have answered. So that's why our question is bigger than UPSC question. Okay, so here F FRBM is very much in the news. Detailed notes below, study more from economics test also. So we had economics test given to you. We had economic survey given to you, current affairs given to you and detailed notes are there. Everything would have been here in one single test. That's why we tell, please enroll to valid test series. Don't go by brand names and uh, the toppers photograph and all. Those toppers photograph are there on the institute name because those people attended their mock interview okay prelims and means they would have cleared by their own effort or some other test series not these big big brands who are putting the photograph okay so please understand that basic thing and try to clear your first stage that is the prelims so this is the first question which was directly solvable from our test series now the second one also uh, this uh, merchandise uh, and uh, services if you see this one survey budget test only okay uh, India's about current account deficit and the forex reverse both thing was there in single question in the explanation if you see India is mostly in deficit when it comes to current account okay even when current account is in deficit, BOP is still surplus. So we have given all the details, but here this question is asking what? India suffers from an overall trade current deficit. Okay, current account deficit. That's what is mentioned here. So this statement 4 is correct. So if 4 is correct, obviously you need, let me eliminate it. Okay, this will go away and this will go away. So you just have to now check whether 2 or 1, 3. Any one of them you find out, you will get the answer. Okay, now in another question, this is question number 61. This is question number 62 in the last year's test. Okay. So this, if you see, merchandise trade deficit is the largest component of India's current account deficit. Okay. Which is a true statement. So India has a merchandise trade deficit, meaning this has to be true. Okay. 4 is already true. This has to be true. So if that has to be true, you got the answer there itself. 1, 3 and 4. Okay. 
Now, whether we taught you the other things. So, again, when you see the explanation, the service trade surplus. Okay, we have a service trade surplus. That also we have told here. And that is what driven by the software services and our IT call center, all those things. Okay. So, this one, uh, where is it? India's exports of services is more. This is also true. So, we gave you all the three. Now, another thing is, did we teach you about this statement? Okay, which you could have eliminated. So, if you see here, this is in our economics test. Okay. In which we again put the charts of economic survey. So, here, what is it given? This last three, if you see, organic chemicals, industrial machinery, iron and steel. So, this is in uh, pink color, this organic uh, chemicals. So, here it is 1.9 and here it is 2.7. So, it has actually increased. Okay. But here question is what? Decreased. So, that is chemicals. Now, if you take machinery, machinery is this gray color, 2.2 and here it is 2.6. So, that also has increased. So, again the statement is false. Iron and steel actually, it has decreased. If you take iron and steel, the other color, 2.8. 2.5. So, that has decreased. But overall, this statement is false because chemicals and fertilizers and machineries, everything has increased. Okay. So, this is wrong. So, either way, you could have solved this question because everything is covered in our test. So, please understand the value of test series. Okay. When you study something, you tend to ignore these kind of charts or this kind of explanation which we give. Simply by hearting this like, okay, this is this, this is this. Okay. Neither one nor two. That will not work. You cannot study like that. You have to study the uh, solution. Okay. Here in the explanation we have given, see economic survey which chapter, which volume we have taken. Okay. So, hope that's clear. Now, two slides I'll show you, which is already there in that last year's video. Okay. Just quickly, I'll show basics about economic survey and basics about budget and we'll wind up this video. So, economic survey is the official report of the economy, which is presented a day before the annual budget presentation. Economic survey gives an overview of various sectors in the current fiscal, which is a detailed report card on the economic performance throughout the year. The survey, which presents a holistic purview of the budget, also entails the policy challenges ahead of the government. The report is crafted by whom? Chief Economic Advisor, the person's photograph I showed you in the front right, that is Krishna Murthy V. Subramaniam. He is the one who uh, drafts this, okay, and his team. And it is released after the ap approval of Finance Minister, okay. The report will be tabled in both houses of the parliament on January 31 or the last working day of January and will be followed by a press conference where Subramaniam and his team will discuss an economic roadmap for the next fiscal. The government is not bound to follow the measures that are recommended in the economic survey, meaning they will give a lot of suggestions like do that, do this, link that with other or uh, cancel all those subsidies. But it's up to government whether to take it up or not. Okay, They will do it definitely, but in the coming years, it's not necessary that like next day budget, uh, all these things will be there. Okay, So that also you should understand. Now, what is a budget? Union budget is a statement of government's finances for the financial year where the government makes estimates of revenue and expenses for the upcoming fiscal year that runs from April 1 to March 31. Okay. So, this is the financial year. You should know RBI has a different financial year. Government has a different financial year. So, these kind of basic things you should know. And budget will come on February 1. This is an exercise carried out by the central government every year. The union budget is presented by the union finance minister. Usually, the duration will be 90 to 120 minutes, meaning she will look and read, right? She will look, now maybe tablet is she has and she will be simply, I rise before you and I present before you this budget. So, that full dialogue uh, which she do, it will take at least this much time. The word budget has its origin from a French word, okay, which means briefcase. So, even though now briefcase is not there, that I will tell you. Traditionally, budget documents which primarily included papers related to the revenue receipt and the expenditure as well as the speech of the finance minister were carried in a brown briefcase. Okay, this is a legacy passed by British and this government, you know, are removing everything what British has started. Okay, and another thing is there. I'll tell you what it got replaced with. Now, the customary halwa ceremony is there. There's a halwa ceremony. That's a sweet eating kind of ceremony. They all make it together and then eat it. Okay. This is actually happening in India. Okay, this is done and then only the budget uh, ceremony will start. So, which marks the process of printing documents for the budget and it's hosted by the finance ministry on January 20 ahead of the presentation of the budget on February 1 or the first working day of February. It is annually held a few days before the budget is presented. The making of halwa officially marks or kicks off the event. The Indian desert is prepared in a large vessel and served to the finance ministry staff as part of the ritual. So, this is all photographs you can see. Okay. After the ceremony, the employees who are part of the budget making process move to the basement of North Block for around 10 days, meaning they go kind of isolation. Okay, now you are going into isolation only when this corona started, but these people 10 days, 10 days every year, they are going into a building block and then literally living there. Okay, because the details should not be leaked out. They will only emerge once the finance minister presents the budget in parliament. This is done to prevent any leaks before the annual budget is presented. Around the clock surveillance by intelligence bureau is there. Then interestingly, till 1950, 
the budget document used to be printed at the Rashtrapati Bhavan, but some leak happened. Following a leak in the same year, the venue was shifted to some road and later to this basement. Okay. The computers used during this uh, process are dealing from the NIC server also, so that no cyber theft happens. Only the finance minister has the right to enter and access this uh, highly protected zone. Only a few top officials like finance secretary etc are being given pass to enter and exit North Block during this period. This virtually makes North Block a high security fortress. So now about uh, this is the basics of economic survey and budget. Now is this actually relevant? I already showed you prelims question is coming. Okay. And problem is in online when you learn, okay, YouTube you try to learn for free, the videos are mostly incomplete. Okay. And what is the benefit as I told? Real implementation of economics. Okay. Like in maths and science and all, you learn lot of theories in your school level, but in your life you may never use it. Okay. Same way economics when you learn NCRT and textbook and all, you learn lot of concepts, GDP, inflation, deflation and uh, this uh, receipt uh, expenditure, but you don't know how is it working actually in India. So that working you will understand when you read the economic survey. <coughs> then for economic means, whatever you need, everything will get it there. Okay. Any question which UPS is asking in means is directly answerable from economic survey. Okay. So please read that. An excellent point for everything, GS 1, 2, 3, 4, because the schemes will be there covered in the economic survey and uh, any science innovation is there, some funding is coming from World Bank or even some case studies is given. Okay. So everything is helpful if you read economic survey. Concept, example, trend, global competition, vision, schemes, sectors, everything. Okay, the primary sector, secondary sector, tertiary sector, like that. Then, detailed provision of important schemes. Okay, high chance to be asked in prelims. What we missed in current affairs, meaning there are many schemes which, when we do the economic survey, we'll find which we actually missed during current affairs session. Okay, that happens every year. I myself have seen a lot of schemes which is present only in the uh, economic survey uh, PDF because they'll be even comparing Indian scheme with a uh, uh, France scheme, Indian scheme with a uh, USA scheme and telling the benefits or like whether we are ahead or whether we are backward. So all those things you will learn then. UPSC prelim specific unheard climate TP. There are many climate related things happening across the world. That also in economic survey something will be there. Some at least one extra point will be there which you usually don't find in current affairs magazine. CSAT is becoming uh, picking up passages directly from here. You know CSAT right? The uh, passage will be given and then five questions will be given. You have to answer that. So earlier it used to be big big novel type Shakespeare novel and all that kind of English passages, okay. But now they are purposely taking up small, small passages written in the economics, a very small one, okay. This size small passage they will take and below that one question will be there. Like what do you infer from this passage or what is the proper conclusion for this passage, okay. So if you have already read the economic survey, in the exam hall it will be very, very easy, okay. And can use them for daily answer writing practice, daily. You can take one topic and write and then go and refer there again, learn from there again. If you do it multiple times, you will be an expert in Indian economy also and also in answer writing. Okay. Interview questions also you can answer because they will ask you like what do you think about the uh, think uh, west movement or the look east movement, act east movement. This one all will be there in glances uh, and glimpses inside the economic survey. Okay. So where to get this economic survey? Actually, I can show you the government document itself. Before that, I will show you the PDF. This is the PDF which we gave last year to the students. Okay. So last year. This was uh, like I think the biggest uh, sale we had because almost everyone wanted this PDF because it covers uh, more than 140 pages. That is a summary of the total 750 pages of economic survey and in the form of question answer. Okay. And here hyperlinks are given so that you can get MCQs, you can get a mains potential question, you can get extra terminologies, extra charts. Uh, notes based on budget and then the government site links also we gave. Okay. So when you click on this, it will directly take you to the uh, government website. So there you can go and see. Okay. If my internet. Okay. So here if you see this is the website indianbudget.gov.in economic survey. So this uh, if you remove this economic survey and the only the first part then it will go to the budget section. Okay. So here uh, screenshots will be there about uh, all the things and here if you see there will be always volume 1 and volume 2 for every year's economic survey. Okay. Uh, only uh, only this thing is that uh, exception is that when the government is going out meaning 2019 or that time when one government is ending and new government is coming maybe they'll do one part before that and one part after they come back into power so like that sometimes happens it's always two volume will be there and if you see here 10 chapters are there in volume one and the preface is there same way volume two if you click there's 10 chapters and preface what is the difference mean uh, this thing will have all the schemes okay then uh, if suppose like uh, jandan yojana or uh, linking to Aadhaar or uh, world level how did we fight with uh, corona that is the first chapter here okay the livelihood and this thing and that kind of things are there so all the schemes and important things you get here actually it's very very interesting to read volume one 
volume two will be data okay data oriented like the question which i showed you in the starting of the uh, video that uh, kind of data will be here if you see this agriculture this is primary sector this is secondary sector this is tertiary sector this is the social sector employment human development indexes all the charts bar graph pie chart all these number games will be in this section okay so this also is important this also is important for your mains also you can simply quote data directly from here okay and if you see here in scr scrolling they will be giving some details that is actually the uh, theme of this okay like last year's theme if you remember last year's it was wealth creation it had a uh, lavender uh, page if you see here uh, last year let me just show you the first page here if you see this uh, lavender color was the theme and it was because the 100 rupee note uh, new note was under this color okay and our uh, theme was wealth creation but this year the theme if you see saving lives and livelihood and v-shaped recovery v-shaped recovery is nothing but uh, our gdp okay it was like suppose at this point then it went down this point and it again came up this point so that v-shape okay that v-shape recovery that is what is a very important point discussed in this thing and there is this counter cyclic physical policy that also is important so like that few terminologies are important about which questions can surely come and in our test series it will be definitely covered okay so here each thing you can click when each thing you click they will open up the uh, pdf online for you else you can download it also okay when uh, when the pdf is open now my internet is a little slow so whenever it opens from there you can download the pdf into your computer also and you can read okay sometimes copy paste won't work in that things if you want to make notes and all but uh, online reading i think it works okay so it takes time okay so you can download each thing and read so uh, i am not going through this thing now because in my test series it will be available okay and again as i told we'll just go to the budget uh, uh, website also so you can see budget what all important things are there because uh, budget is something which government themselves uh, gives you the uh, this thing summarized pdf economic survey it will be very detailed one and they don't give any summary that is why coaching class are also not able to make very summarized videos for you okay but budget government itself has summarized it for you so this year this is uh, the word document which i am working on okay for you for 2021 batch and 22 batch so this is in progress okay it will be in the same lines as the uh, last year's one so once this is complete on uh, july uh, 15th we can target it okay so test will complete and uh, this year's and last year this is what you see the pdf and the new pdf which i am making both i am planning to give as a single package to students if you need it so there are some challenges before the page loads i'll tell you uh, challenges are it's lengthy and bulky 20 chapters average uh, 35 pages in each uh, page, this thing so 750 plus pages long long sentences are there so maybe you will not understand then economic terms like inflation banking npa deficit balance of payment this and all unless you do the basics of economics okay then you cannot understand economic survey then everything looks important you will think like okay this also important that also important which one will i skip that is there so one trick i'll tell you for every chapter there will be a introduction chapter introduction paragraph and there will be a conclusion paragraph at least that if you read okay quickly you will get a gist of the entire thing they are going to explain in that chapter okay and should i make notes from it you don't need to make notes if you enroll to my test series else you have to make notes and so that you can understand okay and how to make notes there is also a foundational video available in this thing okay so this thing as i told july 15th we are targeting to give you uh, the test pdf the both the test pdf so you can enroll that okay we have kept it the same price like last year only so 200 mcqs you will get two test pdf and that will be sufficient for you to answer anything which comes in prelims as well as mains okay if it is economic survey based totally based on that but uh, usually upsc will ask a mix of something which is outside the economic survey and what is inside the economic survey okay but still do you have seen the standard you have seen what questions have been solvable from prelims directly okay last year for which answer key is yet to come but we are confident that whatever we have taught you is correct only so you can contact us on whatsapp if you need to enroll now itself okay and june july 15 you will get the pdf in your inbox okay mailbox so that is the plan as of now so this is what i wanted to convey uh, if the page has loaded i'll show you yeah this is the indian budget uh, website okay so here if you see a lot of documents will be there so many students will be confused like what to do even previous budget and previous economic survey you can read it here okay budget speeches are here now mobile app is there for them now and here uh, the key key means they'll have all the keywords okay this means this or this uh, uh, short form means this full form so that kind of key will be there budget highlights also important budget and i think uh, there's one more document i'm not sure where it is which will have all the graph okay whatever they explain through textual format they'll give given picture format and that is the easiest way to understand the entire budget like this much fund is allocated there this much scheme is coming there so because i as i told my internet is slow that is why each uh, page is loading slow okay so budget at a glance this also is very important where instead of reading the full budget you can just watch this thing and see the other ones the question which upc last year asked like why is this placed along with the uh, budget macroeconomic statement this medium term physical and other framework for schemes okay okay so it's not loading now because my internet is weak okay so you can do this yeah here this uh, pictures have come so here if you see 
all graphs they come see v shaped recovery which i told you it went down like this in 2020 and 2021 it's coming up this is called v shaped recovery about this also question will come then inflation deflation deficit capital expenditure revenue expenditure atmanirbhar uh, bharat sorry atmanirbhar bharat then this migrant workers what are schemes are allocated so all in pictures in a quick way you can revise in case you don't have the time to uh, do the full reading okay so this is how you have to research and read okay i am just showing you everything is available in government website don't depend on uh, coaching institutes for uh, their handwritten notes or something okay test series you have to enroll to any coaching institute if vice as you want july 15 it is open okay so i'll wind up this video else it'll become again more lengthy please watch the last year's video also so that it will be clearly understandable okay so thank you and have a nice day